What's going on guys and welcome back to another video today I have a tutorial on how to make Minecraft or gaming related PC videos uh, so some of you guys might be wondering you know what what the hell are you doing uh, what is this uh, basically I wanted to make this video for a while now because I've been getting a lot of a uh, lot of responses and comments about what do I use to record, uh, how do I record, and what do I use to edit, all this sort of stuff. And I figured I'd help a lot of you guys out, hopefully, and make this video in case you guys want to start your own YouTube channel. Um, if you're, you know, getting a PC in the future, I know a lot of you guys out there are probably wanting gaming computers to make YouTube videos. So if you guys might be getting one in the future, uh, be sure to leave a favorites or a watch later so you know where this video is in case something happens. Um, but yeah. Uh, if you guys want to know how to make uh, Minecraft or just gaming related videos for your computer, I'm going to show you how to do that. It's very simple once you know what you're doing. And trust me, I was in the same situation you guys were in at one point. Uh, you know, trying to wonder, uh, what, what do I do? Instead of recording really kind of crappy videos like with big black bars and bad audio, that's not really how you want to start your channel off. You want to start your channel off good with good, good quality and uh, you know, that's how you're going to be successful on YouTube. Uh, if you have good quality videos, I know my quality isn't even that good, but it's it's decent. You know, I I, I get rid of black bars. I make sure it's in HD, and that's what I'm uh, that's what I'm gonna show you guys how to do today. So if you guys do enjoy the video, be sure to leave that like button, some love, and yeah, let's get started. So first thing uh, you're gonna need to do is download a couple of programs. Uh, we'll have all these uh, all these programs links in the description. Um, some of them do cost money. I know you will need to pay for Fraps. And Sony Vegas and depending on whatever game you want to record you will need to buy that or you know have it on your Basically able to launch uh, so yeah I'm gonna be showing you guys how to how to record Minecraft and that's just the game I used like I said could be whatever you prefer uh, to, to play and uh, Yeah, so the first thing you're gonna need to do is download some sort of uh, Capturing software. I I prefer fraps now if you're gonna use a version of fraps make sure it's the full version if you do use the demo version um, the demo version is free and the fraps I do believe costs uh, I know it's I know it's about twenty dollars somewhere around there uh, more or less but make sure you have uh, the full version of fraps uh, because you definitely don't want to be using the demo one I think you can only record for like 10 seconds or something so don't use that uh, either buy fraps find an alternate way of getting it or get something like deck story I think you still need to pay for that anyway but uh, yeah Anything, any recording software will work. Don't use Bandicam, all right? I, I hate videos that are in Bandicam, all right? Don't use that. Use whatever you want, as long as it's good. I prefer Fraps, of course. Like I said, alternate ways of getting it uh, on the internet. Uh, or you can buy it off of the Fraps uh, store. Links will be in the description, like I said. So get a recording software. Either Fraps or Dextory work the best. And you will also need an audio software. I, per, uh, I, I prefer Audacity. That's what I'm using right now, actually. So it's going to be kind of hard to do in the, in the video, but you, you will understand how, to, how it works and everything. So basically, get Audacity, and it's free. Lot, uh, download links in the description. Yeah. Uh, get that. And you also need a, a program called Sizer. Uh, Sizer is going to allow you to resize your Minecraft window, make sure it's in HD quality, and give you no black bars when you play. Um, or when you record it. Uh, yeah, when you record. Uh, and then you're going to need your game and an editing software. For my editing software, I use Sony Vegas 11. Uh, you could use whatever you want. I, I, I don't prefer Movie Maker, but um, yeah, Sony Vegas works the best for the best quality Minecraft videos out there. Um, or Adobe After Effects, you know, Adobe, whatever you guys prefer to use. But to make sure you're good with it and make sure it produces good video or, or uh, renders good videos. So. Yeah, let's get started. All you need to do is open up your game here. Uh, I'm going to be using Minecraft. Move that to the side and uh, launch that. And also at this time, you're going to want to launch Sizer. Sizer is a uh, it's a weird program. I, lo I love how it works though. And uh, it's very, very helpful. So uh, you got your game right here. And you notice how it's really small. It, oh, first things first. If you have a game that's in full screen, like big screen like that, don't do that, all right? Don't have it full screen. You will not, uh, you need to be able to move it around, basically. You need to be able to, um, maneuver it around 
and resize the window. If it's not like that, if it's in full screen, uh, you will need to... Uh, I'm sure every game has a way you can make it window. So just Google how to window, you know, whatever game you're trying to record. And, um, yeah, just follow the steps on there. You should be able to get it something like this. And uh, you should be good uh, as long as you can move it around and resize it. So... Yeah, open up Sizer and head down here and click this arrow and you should see uh, the Sizer icon. And to open it, you can't just click it. You need to right click and go to Configure Sizer. So normally you won't have this stuff in here. I'm just going to get rid of that one. Uh, so you're, you'll normally just have these three in there. So just click one and click Add. You'll get a copy of it down here. Name it whatever you want. I'm going to name it 720p HD. We'll do that. That looks a little weird. There we go. Uh, and width is going to be 9 or 12 6 or 96 by 758. I do believe, yeah, that's the size right there. So, yep, we good. We good. All right, uh, open it. Uh, just make sure it's like that with uh, height and everything else. You can leave the same. Go ahead and click continue and you, you'll, you're done. You're, you don't need sizer anymore. Just make sure it's open. And uh, when you get your game open and everything, uh, you get these two arrows, right click and go to 720p HD or whatever, you know, you just called it. And you will have the game in full 720p HD quality. Now when you record, you will not have any black bars and that's, that's the whole fix of getting rid of black bars. So, there it is. Um, now all you're going to want to do is, um, is open up your recording software and your uh, audio recording software. So I'm using Fraps. Um, I'm gonna give you guys the settings for Fraps right now. So I have the version of 3.5.99, and um, these are the settings I have. You can just copy them down. Uh, all we're really worried about though is is the movies uh, category. So head on over here, and this is where your your video recording is gonna be. Uh, and make sure I'm just gonna go over a couple things here. Make sure you uh, click change right here. And you save the video file uh, somewhere you know that, like, because I used to save it and I used to get lost really fast. So just make sure you're, you're saving it somewhere that you that you can find it really easily. I just saved it in the videos file. Um, right here, this is going to be what button you press in order to record. Uh, that's optional, I guess. I just use F10. Um, make sure you're recording at 60 FPS or 29.97 FPS. I, 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 I prefer 60, but it, it does not matter with this. They both basically work the same. Uh, it's basically, I just like doing that so I can get better FPS when I record, I guess. So, uh, yeah, that's all you're going to need to do with that. Uh, make sure it's on full size as well. Don't make it half size. Make it full. Um, uh, make sure it's not split to that. Uh, now, right here is going to be your audio. Make sure it's uh, record Windows 7 sound, select multi-channel, and uh, record external input. Uh, be sure to keep that off, not checked. So, down here, it's just optional. You can hide the cursor if you want. Uh, don't matter. Lock frame rate, make sure that's off, and this is off too. Uh, screenshots, if you want to copy them down, it don't matter. You don't really need that, but uh, right here is what you're going to need. So, when you got them all done, uh, you can minimize fraps and open up Audacity. So, this is how Audacity looks. I'm going to explain how it kind of works. Uh, all you really need to do is make sure right here, this says line in or uh, make sure it's your microphone selected, not like your computer webcam or something like that. Make sure it's your microphone that you actually have plugged in your computer and um, yeah, make sure it's that. And I guess this stuff really doesn't matter. It's kind of just optional um, and it's make sure it's on MME, I think. Yeah, I don't really mess with this stuff. Just make sure this is set to your microphone and that's all you really need to worry about. Um, you got your audio up here. You can listen however much input your your microphone wants to take in and your playback sound and uh, Yeah, so when you're good all you need to do is go and load up Minecraft. I'm just gonna load up this random world and uh, Yeah, okay. I'm in here. Cool. Cool. All you need to do is Okay, this is kind of a tricky part. You will it's not really it's not even that tricky I mean really it's all you need to do is you press F10 and and record at the same time. Now, for this video, really quick, I need to change my um, my fraps. Yeah, I gotta change this. I'm gonna make it. Uh, I'm gonna make it. Can I make? Oh, I can't make that. Uh, I'll just make it one because I uh, <laughs> I pressed F10 and it shut down Camtasia, which is what I'm using to record. So I'm just gonna make sure it's set on that and uh, just press whatever hotkey you have to record and this record button at the same time. So it would be boom. And this thing should turn red, and this thing will be recording uh, as it is in this right now. Because this is what I'm using to record 
because Camtasia's audio is just shit. So I'm using this and it should be like this. You should be talking and this, uh, it should be about this size. If it's a little higher or lower, you can always adjust that. Just go on to effect, amplify, and you can change uh, the, the tone of it if you want. But yeah, that's all you need to do. Uh, talk a little bit, say whatever you need to do. And then you can press um, F or whatever you use to record, F10. And then you can get rid of that and end this. Uh, just stop it the audacity thing and that's really that's almost it you really all the rest of it is just editing and your way of spicing up your style of videos so that's really all there is to it uh, I'm gonna open up Sony Vegas here and show you a little bit of basic by editing if you want more tutorials on Sony Vegas I am pretty familiar with it I used it for a while now uh, just comment below and I'll make a separate video uh, maybe some like tutorials on it. I don't know whatever you guys want uh, so all you need to do is go to fi uh, file new and open up wherever you saved your videos at. I saved it in here and it is right here, what I just recorded. So I'm going to drag that in as well as the recorded file that um, that I used with Audacity. Because you're going to need to, when you're done recording Audacity, I should have probably told you guys this. When you're done recording your Audacity, click this button right here, stop, and then go to file, export, export it as a WAV. Um, can, I, can I show you guys that off this? File, oh, I can't, I need to record something. Just go to File, Export, and make sure it's a WAV file when, you end, uh, when you're when you done recording. Uh, it's going to be different for Mac. I don't know what the Mac is. I think it's like QuickTime or something like that. But yeah, make sure it's exported and on your desktop somewhere. You can rename it whatever you want, and you should be good uh, with that. And then all you're going to need to do is drag it in here. And if the, if the clip goes a little bit here, let me, do I have, I don't think I have any audio on my at all actually oh I do I have this one okay cool so say I have a clip right here and let me trim it down and I have it like this and this is what I just recorded and it goes like that because I forgot to stop it so if I forget to stop or whatever and, oh I should probably turn this down I, if I forget to stop it ever and it I ended it right here I could drop I could drag this and cut it off uh, like that and if I want it to fade out I can drag this little arrow having a nice little fade out and I'm gonna turn that down and you can see that it fades out uh, this is this is just all editing however you guys want if you want to fade in uh, if you guys want Sony Vegas tutorials I'm sure you can look them up and it's very easy to work with um, you can play it back however you want trim it down however you want I'm gonna trim it down to maybe about a 10 second video here and then that's all you really need to do when you're done editing done doing whatever you want uh, go up here and go to project properties make sure this template is set to um, this one right here HDTV 720 by 30p uh, yeah this one go ahead and click that and it's all you really need to do click apply and okay and then you can come up here to get your video processed and everything click file go to render as uh, make sure you have the whole clip highlighted like that so it's you got the line right there and the line right there go to file render as and then um, you could render whatever you want uh, render it wherever you want I'm just gonna render it to my desktop and just save it test and uh, here are the render settings. I'm going to give you guys these real quick. Uh, code customized template. It, it should be like uh, here. If I do that, yeah. Uh, scroll down here until you see Windows uh, Media Video V11.wma or WMV, and go to right here. It's uh, 720p. The six six with the equals. So I don't think it has the equals, but it's this right here. And click customize template, and you should get brought up with this. Um, this thing right here all you need to do is, is this the exact same thing right here yeah it is all right cool uh, here are the settings and uh, just go ahead and copy them down I guess uh, there's not really much to it it just kind of makes your video look a little nicer I guess uh, but you don't even really have to go with these settings if you don't want to you can just um, just go with this one right here it works just as good as this one uh, this one is just I don't know it's it, it's a template so yeah, do whatever you want with that, and when you're done, go ahead and double click it. I will render it out as this, because it's the exact same thing, and uh, yeah, go ahead and click render. It will take a quite lengthy amount of time, uh, depending on how fast your computer is. This is a 10 second video, and I am recording, so it may, uh, you know, it varies on what exactly you're doing at the time. Um, so, usually, for a 10 second video, uh, for you guys, probably, it will not take as long. Um, or, you know, a 10 minute video could take up to, you know, 30 minutes, usually. Uh, depending on how fast your computer is, it's normal for you know 15 minute video to render up to an hour if you have a not so decent computer. And that's really all there is to it, guys. Uh, I have the video right here. I'll open it up, 
and it will open up at 720p and here it is uh, it's the exact same thing you can see the numbers in the corner they don't stay there if I close down fraps uh, the numbers in the corner do disappear so yeah there you go they're gone and that's really all there is to it that's how you make a video all you need to do now is upload it to YouTube uh, put in your description your title whatever else you need to do and that is really it guys I hope this video helped you guys out hopefully I could be seeing uh, some more decent videos out there in the community uh, because I, I decided to make this video because like I said a lot of videos I've been noticing were kind of eh, not so good so anyway guys thanks for watching this video hopefully it helped got any questions leave them in the comments below um, and that's all I have, guys. Take care, and yeah, I'm out of here, guys. Adios.